What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So now that our advent series is done, um, we are going to be moving into a new series and this is going to be called our Beginner's Guide to Ultimate Team series. So this is going to be a guide that anybody can use, um, but it's particularly aimed at people who are just starting out with Ultimate Team. So we are going to go very in depth into each facet of Ultimate Team, um, ranging from how chemistry works all the way up to complicated squad building all the way to gameplay tips to um, high tier trading tips so as you guys can see i do have two million coins i just want you guys to have a quick look at my club not you know trying to show off or anything i'm just trying to show you guys um what you can get to and this is the club that i have um in about four well you know game came out in uh late september so call it three months or so just a little over three months um, well, it's late December now, so September, October, November, December, four months, sorry. Um, this is the club that I'm able to come up with. I have about two and a half million coins. I have all these guys. Look at how many, um, I just want to quickly go, actually, if we just go to special cards, that would work. Um, I just want to show you guys what you guys can achieve. So these are just our special cards. Um, we've got a bunch of different icons in the club, a bunch of different special cards. Some are SPCs, some are not. Um, yeah, look at all these 86 plus cards. Now, obviously, when you guys start, your club is not going to look like this. Your club is going to look very, very bare. And I considered starting a new account um, to kind of demonstrate this. But I think I can do it all on this account. Um, so this is FIFA Ultimate Team. And I'll actually just show you guys one step further. Um, when you guys load up FIFA, which many of you maybe got this for Christmas, something like that, if you go to play, Ultimate Team is right here. And this is pretty much the only uh, mode in FIFA that I actually play. So you can go ahead and open up Ultimate Team. When you do that, if it decides to actually open, you'll get like a loading screen. This will tell you about Team of the Week, Icon Swaps 2, Team of the Week, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is, Footmas is still going on. This is, this is a lot to look at, especially if you're new to the game, but don't worry about it for right now. We will get into it in time. So this video is just going to be kind of an intro to Ultimate Team. Just going to go over the basics. Um, if they let me back into Ultimate Team, that would be ideal. Uh, but it's just going to go over the basics of Ultimate Team, the basics of um, how this... Basically, it's a card collecting mode, okay? And the cards represent players. So you want to get the best players you can. So you, when you play the games, you, uh, you, you're more likely to win. So now we get land on this Foot Central page, okay? There are four tabs here. These are like usually advertising, like telling you what's out. This uh, is pretty much the same, telling you what's out. This is a champions channel. There's a particular mode in um, in Ultimate Team called Foot Champions, which we'll go over in a second, where you can actually go ahead and watch uh, replays of very good players. So you can see that this guy, this game was a 15 and one versus a 22 and 0 player. Um, a lot of very good players here. Um, that you can watch replays if you'd like. I never really do, but just in case you're wondering. There is an objective section along with seasons. Now, I will be going over this in depth in another video later this week or next week, I suppose. But objectives are very important because what you can do, if you've ever played a game like Fortnite or something like that, what you can do is earn rewards based on getting experience, okay? So I've earned all these rewards already this season. I'm working on getting this Santi Cazorla. Um, and then there's like a player at the end that you can get as well. Now, these can all give you experience. Sometimes they give you cards, like I'm working on earning this Footmas Rosilion. Um, I got a few other cards, this Bolaya. Uh, nothing else there for now. Excuse me, I just had to sneeze. <laughs> um, then there are some milestone objectives that you can work towards over a long period of time. And you get packs for and things like that. So again, we will, um, obviously these are the basics, stuff that you'll start with. I'll be talking about all of these things when we get to objectives in our next video. Now we move over to play. Play is generally offline modes. Now, there's something called a draft, um, which... Well, let's talk about squad battles first. So squad battles are an offline mode. Now you can earn points playing against these teams, okay? So you play against these teams, you can pick your difficulty. See how the number of points scales up as the difficulty scales up? 
So the harder level you play on, the more points you can earn. Now, this again is offline. See how all these clubs have different ratings? So this, this club is 86 rated with 100 chemistry. That's going to be a very difficult team to defeat. You might want to play that on an easier level, semi-pro or professional. This team obviously is going to be pretty easy to beat because it has a 63 overall rating and 27 chemistry. Some of the players aren't even in their correct positions, things like that. So that would be very easy to complete. You might want to play that on a harder level. Now, your rank is how many points you have based on where everyone else in Ultimate Team is. So, for example, um, there are a bunch of different rankings. Obviously, we're not going to get to uh, top 100, but you start down here. If you play one game of squad battles, you get Bronze 3. 100% of players are in Bronze 3. If you 90% of players are in Bronze 2, uh, and then it shows you how many points you need to be in that area as well 80 percent 70 percent 60 50 40 30 um we're progressing through gold now up into elite and then the top three percent of all players make elite one and that's how many points you need obviously that will go up throughout the week so you need to stay on top of it the higher rank you are the better your rewards are so this is the reward for elite one two me rare mega packs and thirty thousand coins compare that to the reward for bronze three you get a premium alone player <laughs> and then you get a gold pack for bronze two two gold packs for bronze uh, one, a premium gold pack, and so on and so forth, okay? So obviously the more you play squad battles, the more points you earn, the higher your rewards are going to be. So it's definitely a mode that I think is worth doing, um, particularly in the beginning. These two you can only play once, but um, you get a base amount of points depending on how, uh, what difficulty you play them on. These you can actually get a range of points. I know it says projected is 1789 but if you act you can actually perform higher than that if anybody has any questions on squad battles please let me know once you've played these four games you can um hit r2 see how it says update opponents down in the bottom there and you can update it i only have one refresh remaining and i haven't played these games yet but you can update it and get a new set of teams so you can do that up to um see how it says 32 out of 40 matches played in the upper right hand corner there underneath the red point it says 32 out of 40 matches played. You have 40 matches every week in order to um, try to earn points. So that's squad battles. Now, friendlies is a new mode they introduced. Friendlies is interesting. You can play online or offline. Okay. Now, if we played online, we would select our mode. You can select classic match, king of the hill, mystery ball swaps, chemistry, and max chemistry, headers and volley, survival, long range, no rules. Now, all of these has different rules. I'm not going to go into them. Right now, if you guys have questions about friendlies, I will be happy to answer them. The important thing to know about friendlies is that, not the restaurant, <laughs> the game mode, is that um, contracts don't count. So you can use loan players and their contracts won't run down, which is actually very interesting. This is draft, as I was going to talk about before. You can enter with 15,000 coins or 300 FIFA points. I'm not going to enter. This is an offline draft. Um, but let's talk about draft in the online section. So I'm not going to do a test draft for you guys today because I actually have a current draft here. So what happens is you pick a formation. So I picked this formation, the 5-3-2. Then for each position, you get to pick a player. So you'll click on the position. Uh, five, we'll do a practice draft at some point in this series most likely. But five players will pop up and then you get to pick a player to fill that position. So the idea is you get to try out players you might not normally, um, maybe players you can't afford. Like, look, I have Messi and Ronaldo in this team. I'll bring Messi on up top, something like that. But anyway, um, that is draft. Now, draft, you play four games. I'm not very good at draft. <laughs> um, my draft record is 17 and 16. So I actually haven't won a draft yet. That's pretty embarrassing. So you, uh, you play four rounds. If you win all the rounds, it's, uh, it's called winning the draft. You get different rewards based on the round you get bounced out in. So for zero wins, you'd, you'd get less than for one win, which gets less than for two, and then less than for three, and less than for four. So um, if you win the draft, you get a high chance of getting uh, a good pack or coin reward. So that's draft. A lot of people really like that. If anybody's interested in that, I can do a more in-depth draft tutorial in the future. Probably will. Now, these are two online modes. These are very important. Division Rivals is the kind of um, competitive week by week reward. So you obviously can jump in and just play and then you take your squad into the game. The um, That's what that section is. This section over here is FUT Champions. You can um, redeem division points 
to be able to compete in FUT Champions, which is the weekend only competition. I will talk about that in a second. But division rivals you get placed essentially in a division. So when you first start, you'll play five placement matches. You'll then get placed in a division. You will likely get pay placed, depending on your level of FIFA, somewhere around here. If you're more experienced, you might get placed in seven or six. Um, and then you'll get placed into a division. Each of those divisions has five ranks. And in much like squad battles, you can earn points within your rank to get rewards, okay? So there's 10 divisions, obviously. I'm in division five. So the rewards are different in each division. Now, if you get 390 points, you're silver, if you, uh, rank three. If you get 1,200 points, you're rank three, sorry. If you get 3,000 points, you're rank two, and so on and so forth, it, it climbs. And it will continue to go up uh, throughout the week. This ends on Wednesday night into Thursday, just, just so you know. So, um, like, for example, I can show previous competition results. Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe that wasn't it. Anyway, um, each of these has different rewards. So, rank one, you can choose from three different rewards. Now, you can choose 58,000 coins. Could be good. You can choose to get two Jumbo Premium Gold Packs, one Rare Players Pack, and one Mega Pack. Or you can double those rewards to make them untradeable which is pretty interesting. Now, this is rank five. Obviously, as you go through the divisions, um, you get better and better rewards. Go ahead and um, if you just Google um, FIFA 20 Division Rivals Reward Tiers, you'll be able to see a table of, uh, of what packs you can get for each rank in each division. I'm not going to go through them here, but that's what you can do. So after each Rivals game, you'll get three things. You'll get um, weekly reward points, to contribute to your divisions, you'll get foot champions points um, that contribute to um, your ability to play in foot champions, which I'll talk about in a second. You need 2,000 to compete. Um, and then you'll also get points in your division. So your skill rating will go up and down. My skill rating is 1,077. If I lose, it'll go down. If I win, it'll go up. See how in division five it says um, 65 points per win? That's your foot champions points, and that contributes to this number down here. When you have achieved 2,000 foot champions points, you can then compete in the weekend league, which is actually active right now. So again, we have the champions channel here. We also have the leaderboard. This shows us um, how many wins versus how many rewards. Now, this system is purely based on wins, not based on points. So you have to play at least five games to earn rewards. But if you've played five games, you get to... Um, Earn points based on your wins. Now, you get 30 total games. In that 30 games, if you get 27 wins, you're Elite 1, 25, Elite 2, so on and so forth. Um, right now, I just started, so I'm only Bronze 2 with two wins here. Um, but this is the top, top players. Now, they get um, quite a lot of wins. Um, if you go 30-0 or 29-1, and you can usually get into the top 100, and obviously those... Um, rewards are the best, but for example, um, gold even even gold three rewards are quite good. You get thirty thousand coins, two mega packs, one rare players pack, two player pick items, and two thousand foot champions points. Now that's important because if you get two thousand foot champions points, guess what? You qualify for the next weekend league. And um, we'll just look at a couple rewards. Um, you get a thousand if you're even silver three, one player pick item, but it does have a cap, I believe. But if you can get up to like elite one or elite two, you get a hundred thousand coins with a premium team of the week pack. Now a team of the week pack comes with three players from that current team of the week. These player picks come with, um, red versions of team of the week players. Now, now that I'm talking about team of the week players, let's go take a look at the team of the week. So every week. Certain um, players who perform well in real life actually get uh, boosted cards. Now, Team of the Week players look like this. If I could show you. Team of the Week players look like... Ah, oh, just pass one, Ed Hazard. Let's uh, look like this. See the black um, with the gold writing? with the So the black background, gold flex, gold border, and has gold writing. That's an inform card. So... Um, if you guys are playing along at home, who can identify the inform card on this page? Give you a second. Okay, it's Canales down here at the end. That's an inform card. It's black with the gold. Okay. Now, there's also a red with a gold here. That's that player pick we were talking about. This card exists 
This Donnarumma card exists in both a black version that would look like this with Donnarumma on it and a red version that looks like this. Same thing with Canalis. Canalis exists in this black version, also exists in a red version, just like this. Now, that's Team of the Week. You'll see there are tons of card types. I'm not going to go into them all. Um, this is an icon card type. Uh, player of the Month, Road to the Final, uh, another Player of the Month, Scream Cards, another Player of the Month. Now, th there's, a, there's a ton. I'm not going to go over all of them, but there, there are quite a few. But as you can see on this page, there are two more red player picks. These are Team of the Week cards but they're picked untradeable um, for the special Foot Champions red version. So that is um, Team of the Week, that's player cards, and that's Foot Champions. It's quite a bit that we just went over. Now we move on to the squad tab. I apologize if this video is running a little bit long, but there's a lot to say, um, and this is just the overview. So this is our squad. Now we can roll into our active squad here, and this is a squad we would go into a game with. Now... There are a lot of things you might want to do with your squad. I'll go into more in depth when we go to the squad building. But basically, you can kind of move players around, uh, click on them and move them around. Every player belongs in a certain position. They get more chemistry that way. Tomorrow's video will be about chemistry. Don't worry. Um, you can also change the formation. If I click um, L2, see L2 says squad action. The menu appears on the left. I can click formation, scroll through formations, change it if I wanted. I can also click custom tactics. That's something we'll talk about when we do squad builders. I can also do a squad builder. I can also go to squad selector, apply fitness items, player stats, or kit numbers. Now, if I go to the squad selector, let's say I wanted to make a new squad. I could do that. Um, I could also pick one of my other squads and, um, and do that. I think you can save up to 30 squads or something like that. So that's definitely important. Now, you also can customize the items that you use for your club. Now, my badge is this cool wolf thing. I have ugly sweater, uh, TIFOs, and stadium themes. This is the ball I play with. Uh, let's change my jerseys right now just to show you guys. So if I just click X on this, I get to look through all the jerseys. Um, and I can pick any one I would like to um, be my jersey. Let's, uh, let's stick. Whoops. Oh, no. Let's stick with the uh, Christmas theme here. We'll do Foot Miss Snow, and then we'll do something dark on this side. We'll do... Come on, come on. Let's do... Uh, na, 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 na. There are a lot of kits you can earn and things like that. Should we do Christmas again? No, we'll do the... Um, we'll do this. We'll do... I like the Londoners kit. Um, so those are our two jerseys now. Um, we can also put players into this team by clicking uh, square on an empty space. It brings you over to your club. You can pick a new player to add into the team, which is pretty cool. You can also go to the transfer market and search up a player right here by name, but we'll go into the transfer market in just a second. So um, there's also squad building challenges, but I have a whole video that's gonna be dedicated to these as well. Basically, you can submit a team and you get a reward back. So if I submit quite a few teams for Lionel Messi, look at all these things I have to submit then I get back this really cool player of the month, you know, Messi. Same thing for all of these. Uh, then we can move into Team of the Week here, and there's every week, I mentioned this, they come out with a new Team of the Week. Um, oh, this is quite helpful. Each week, 18 players are selected based on their real-life performances, except I'm pretty sure more, more than 18 are selected. Team of the Week or Inform players have boosted attributes compared to the normal versions. Find them on the transfer market or in packs for a limited time. Yeah, because there's 11. This makes 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, good try. Um, now, this is the transfers tab. This is important. This is your transfer list. This is where you sell players. And look at all these players I just sold. Pretty cool. Um, I get coins back for these guys. Now, when you sell a player, EA takes a 5% coin tax. You can choose what to list them for. Right now, I'm just going to relist everything that was up before. Um, and now everything's relisted up on the market. And now if someone else searched, they could go see a card I wanted. So you guys might have just seen a Lukaku card on the market there. So we're going to look at Lukaku really quickly. Now, uh, let's say I want to try and find the cheapest Lukaku. I could raise my maximum buy now price, find all the ones that are 12,000 coins or under. And, uh, and I can go buy a Lukaku if I wanted. If I wanted him, I would go. I could bid on him. Or I could buy him right now. Now, if I bid on him, I'll have to wait until he comes around. Um, you'll see they each have a, a time. See how this one's going to expire in 1 minute 16 seconds? I could put a bid on him, and I could probably win this Lukaku. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need to. And then he would go over into this section into transfer targets, which is pretty cool. 
This is a store. Um, you can add FIFA points, which are basically this game's uh, currency. You can use FIFA points, as I mentioned earlier, to either enter a draft or open packs. So particularly these promo packs, um, we can open some packs right there. Um, I'm not going to do it because I don't have any FIFA points, but it does show you the probability. So, for example, you have a 6.9% chance of getting an 88 rated or better player, which is actually not bad. I mean, we're not going to open any, but I want to. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then you can go over to your club. This gives you some leaderboards you can compare to your friends. You can delete your club, obviously. You can look at player stats, which is kind of cool. You can see who scored uh, goals for your team and how many games they've played and stuff like that. And then you can look at your club to search for not only players, but there are a lot of different kinds of items. There are staff, managers for your team, and things like that. I'll go into all this. There are um, club items like kits and badges and stadiums. There are consumables like position changes and attribute cards. All stuff we'll talk about in another video. But for today, I think that'll be about it. That was quite a lot to talk about. And this is a 21 minute video right now, longer than many of my others. Um, so that is the overall introduction to foot beginner's guide to fifa ultimate team uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any specific questions please leave them down in the comments below i'll either answer answer them or include them in a new video coming up really hope uh you guys enjoy this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one thanks